presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Mike in Southern California. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, Tom, nice to talk to you again. And I have to start out and first tell you, I love this trading room. This thing is great. This app, it works great. And uh, getting all the information, it, you're like instantly there. No delay, nothing. That's I know. Great. I Listen, Thank I you appreciate again. your growling problem with us. Your channel is in my pocket all day long. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, man. You Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We got five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Replace fear with love. The human mind is like a fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. When you're impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer a fertile for words that come from fear. Your mind is only fertile for the words that come from love. My guys, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 943. NASDAQ's up 269. S&P's up 107. That's a gain, folks, inside the Dow of 3.2%. Inside the NASDAQ, 2.5%. Uh, Five inside the S&P's 2.6. Gold, gold contract down 390, trading at 16.73 an ounce. But silver off six cents, eighteen dollars eighty-eight cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck eighty-six, eighty-nine dollars thirteen cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note down sixteen ticks, trading one ten thirty-one. The thirty-year up twenty-two at one twenty-four fifteen. And king dollar, king dollar is down uh, on nine hundred and seventy-two ticks, trading one twelve three fifty. The euro is at 97, the yen's at 147, the British pound is at 112 to 113 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? I got to bring the futures up first, man, because this is what, you know, longer term bottoms do get made out of, folks. My take is that you're going to get a big bounce out of this. I don't think that this deal is over because I, I do think we're going to. That 3,100, the S&P, but, you know, you can do some trading here, man. That's the bottom line. We get down to a price point, you can see, of 3,502, and <laughs> the bottom line is that we are 192 points above that. And the biggest number here is that we're inside the range again. So you, when you broke the June low, which was 36.57, uh, the bottom line gets you a different range. Guess what? It's saying, see ya, don't want to be ya. I'm going higher. And what will happen, which is really cool, so check this out. This is how it's going to be laying out here. So I expect the, the, first, the first swing point is going to be so easy to take out. It's insane. You know, the first swing point only has 88 million shares. You've done 117 today. And now let me show you this, because there's no doubt this is what you have. You have high volume today, but let me show you what it's actually doing. What we've actually done is that on the weekly basis, you basically – got under, and that was the benchmark that we've been talking about, the June 7th, the week of June 17th, that's the 262. So picture this. You had there 645 million shares traded. Well, it's Thursday. And thus far, folks, we only have 363, and that's counting today. So what you're going to get there, you're going to get a rejection of lower price. You're going to have lighter volume. So this says... Guess what? You can bounce all the way up to the top of that 431. That could be the consolidation. That'll blow some minds, but that's how this is set up right now. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. We go to the three Qs. We take a look at the three Qs, put those on a weekly also. So we can see this. And this one here is just making it. That's what it comes down to. Um, so the benchmark here was at uh, 269. Oh, this is good. It's going now. It's beautiful, man. Uh, 269.28. We're 270.14. On a weekly, it's 409 million. And thus far, you've only done 273. So the bottom line, you're going to get a rejection of lower price. You're going to have lighter volume. You've tested the low. Guess what? Next swing point, 334. And right now, you're at 270. Now, 
If that's where we're going, the bottom line is that you got to go over to the dollar because if that's where we're going, guess what? We know that the dollar's got to go downtown. So right now, we're down 969. Not bad, not great, okay? But bottom line, next swing point there gets you down to the 110. And we'll be intriguing here as to see what the dollar, this is where we're going to get more information, which is pretty cool. So watch this. So that trend line there is what? 112, no, 110. Okay, so on the dollar, folks, right? 110. 9th 25 is a number that you want to benchmark. The reason being is this. If we get underneath that, guess what? The dollar will go all the way back into this 105 area, and that will basically give more oxygen into the marketplace to go to higher price. Now, the last thing you want to put together with this are the bonds. We go over to the bonds. You're going to see what the 10-year did because we know the correlation is absolutely direct. Bonds currency markets okay and we have here is that we have two million shares traded there we go we're going into the low the low had 2.9 million and we're not going to do it man so what does that say this one gets really interesting because the the 10 year has been straight down since the 122 so if i just turn around and say you know okay bottom line let me have a 0.382, a 0.382 is 114, 111, you know. So I suspect it's all going to be going the right way. And the, the wild thing, you know what I think the wild thing is fundamentally, folks, is this. The CPI came in so hot that the market looked at the CPI. And the market in itself, okay, was thinking that, okay, yeah, we're going to, you know, basically go up 75 basis points. Uh, on the November meeting, we might go up 50 on the December meeting. And like, I think the market looked and says, you know what? We know you're going up 75 basis points in November. And if you go up 75 basis points in December, well, hold it. The market's supposed to be, you know, basically forward looking. They just start buying it, man. That's, that's, that's the bottom line. That's, <laughs> that's how this th thing shake out. The cool thing here is this is the type of market that you can get a really cool bounce because it got trashed so dramatically and then the turnaround was so fast. That's the type of markets, folks, that you can get a lot higher price. And what I expect we're actually gonna see here, it's just not gonna be, you know, you're gonna have commodities move, you're gonna have gold move, you're gonna have silver move. That when you get down drafts like this and you get a flip around, the bottom line is that, uh, you know, most times you're going to see quite a bounce out here. And I, what I expect on, on the bounce um, is that, the, you know, we'll get up to that first swing area. And the real question is going to be after that, you know, what do we get? Like on the queues, I bet, it's, you know, we're talking 290 and they're at 269 right now. So stay right there, folks. Come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrial's up 915. Nasdaq's up 266. S&P's up 104. We'll come right back. booming inflation where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 941. Nasdaq's up 271. S&Ps are up 106. Let's go inside the Dow and see. Uh, I suspect they're all green out here. They are. There you go. Okay. So percentage-wise, this is what we have. Point-wise, rather. You get uh, Goldman putting 85 positive points. Uh, United Health, 82. Uh, Big Mac, 71. Microsoft, 66. Uh, the lowest ones, Verizon, five and a half, Coke, seven, seven and a half, Nike, uh, 7.3. Inside the NDX, 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. You got Biogen up 6.7%, Walgreens Boots up 6%, Charter Communications up 6 Comcast up 6 Taken away from it, Match.com off 4 JD down 2 and Zscaler off 1 Nothing nothing heavy there, man. That's the, that's the bottom line. You're talking, you know... <laughs> yeah, once you get turns like this, folks, this is uh, this can turn into some fun for a bit. Um, let's go over and take a look at the GDX, okay? So if we take a look at the GDX inside the gold market, you had a rejection of lower price out here. Now, the, the amazing thing, this is what's, it, it, it's amazing that, that you can have turns arounds like this, and you can see what you have going on, meaning that the GDX came into its high volume day. We were talking about this yesterday, man. If you get the gold, even if you get the gold report, you know that this was my benchmark in the gold report. At the top of that was 23.58. It went to 22.59. It rejected the 23.58. So if we get that, what you're going to have is this. It's 25 million shares traded right now. That was going at the 40 million. That's going to be a rejection of lower price, has light of volume, and when you take a look at the GDX, it has volume at the 26.11, so it's going to make its way back up to that level, and then we'll see if whether it can handle itself. The gold contract itself, we take a look at the gold contract. They trashed this once again this morning. Got down to 16.48. You're at 16.72 right now. Let's see what we have. Same deal, man. Look at this. This is crazy. Okay, so watch this. This is like crazy, man. Especially because if you were in front of a machine this morning, man, it was insane. So look at, it's going to be the same deal, man. Look at, look at this, look at this. Okay, so when we came off the bottom, right, we had 280,000 contracts in the gold market, right? They trashed it down today. They got it. The, the high of the low of there is 1671. Well, we're at 1672.10. We want it to close over 1671.60. Bottom line, you're going to have the rejection of lower price. This thing wants higher price. And this is where, now, this, this, what can get really interesting here is this. You remember when um, 
if you'll listen, when Steve Rhodes did his update on Monday, when he went through the numbers, okay, if you remember, he went through all the indices and all the numbers. Well, gold coming off the highs, they were all down. Gold was down the least. Now what you're going to see, this is how this works out. What you should see is that when we start accelerating up in the gold stocks, silver stocks, you know, the market's already accelerated, but the gold and silver stocks are just barely making it back to even at this point, but I expect they're going to go. What you're going to actually end up seeing is that you're going to see this still going to have a faster acceleration, more percentage-wise, than the market. That's what, that's what bull markets do, meaning that my take is that we're going to really fly on this market because really, more than likely the dollar may have just topped. We'll see. Because um, I suspect if we're going to be in a big consolidation, what should happen first is this. Not first. It's already happened. Well, what happened is that as we continue higher to the top of the first large consolidation, the dollar moves down. As the dollar has been moving down, you're going to get a fast acceleration on the equities going higher, right? We'll know at the first swing point how strong the market actually is. This market just may set up a consolidation, and let me just, I want to see how, how much we actually miss the top of March here. So we bring this back. And what I'm talking about is March of 2020, because my take is that that's where we're going. Okay, so the cash S&P went to 34.91, and I'm talking 31.36. Okay, we'll see where it shakes out, man. And the top of that, the consolidation I think we're going to, though, is 43.25. So you're talking about some real bread here, man. And, oh, look at this. Okay, so yeah, this is where we want to go. You know why? Because, okay, so picture this. The, the low of the highs, 40, this is on, on a monthly basis. The high was 48.18. The low was 42.22. The high of the last counter trend bounce is 43.25. You can see, see it was, that would be the most deviant thing it could do is to go all the way back up to that number because, you know, get everyone riled up again. And then I suspect, you know, once again, you know, I think that thing's still open. But guess what? Right now, look at the equities that you want. We get a run going. And I suspect, you know, you'll bounce around a little. There'll be plenty of people that will figure that, okay, no, I'm going to chart, chart, chart. This is not the time to go short, man. I'm telling you, you know. You know, this, this morning, yeah, closing those positions and going long, you know, I take it for what it's worth. That's the, that's the bottom line. You know, and what's going to be so cool, we're going to be able to see how these accelerations go up, like on these bigger equities. Because they, you know, like if we, if we look at Apple. Okay, so Apple, let's put this on a weekly and see how Apple's setting up. Yeah, see, okay, so this is what you have. So you can see, see how Apple didn't get to test its low? So for an Apple player, they, they would, it would have been much better off if it tested the 129 and it didn't. This is where the troubles can end up coming in. So we'll keep an eye on a couple of these bigger ones because Apple's probably going to get a huge amount of flack at like 148. And, you know, the bottom line is that it'll be real. I can tell you this, man. If we stay in a consolidation for a couple years, but the, the size of the consolidation is two to 300 S&P points, maybe even 400 S&P points, if you're trading, you're going to have a field day. Because, the, you know, you don't have to get the top. You don't have to get the bottom. Uh, what tends to happen is that some of these stocks are going to stick out like a sore thumb. That, that's, that, that's the reality. Um, and why? Be because they've got trash so dramatically. The first, the first points are the easiest points to get. The hardest part in counter trend bounces come about a week and a half to two weeks. That's when you're in the middle. That's like, oh, man, okay, what's going to happen here? You know what I mean? It's like... So what I mean, let's say you have a trend that's this long. Well, when you're halfway on the, up to the trend, that's when it gets really tricky. It's not tricky at the bottom, and it's really not tricky at the top. You know, doesn't mean you're going to be right. What I mean by tricky is that it's like, okay, 
where the heck do you put your stop when you're in the middle? That, that's, I don't like the middles of anything. That's, I love the tops and I love the bottoms. You know, the middles get real dicey, man. Um, you know, we'll see where the whole thing's going to shake out. But uh, we are going to have, and this is where it gets intriguing, we're going to have volume out here today. But as I said at the beginning of the show, that volume is going to be lighter than on the weekly volume that we've gone into. So you are going to have rejection of lower price. You're going to have lighter volume. Forward we go. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up uh, 855. Nasdaq's up uh, 238. S&P's up 64. 94, rather. Let's go take a look at what the, what the volumes are right now in the indices. So in the indices... Yeah, we're at 746 in the NYSE. Yeah, this is going to do like 1.4 million, billion rather. And then on the composite, you're going to be, yeah, you're already at 4.3. So you're going to do, it's going to be in the fives. That's the bottom line. Some of the higher volume equities uh, in this market out here today. Let's see, where are you? Where are you? Where are the... Sorry about that, let's see. There we go. Oh. Don't understand why that's not coming up. Let's go take a look at a few of the big dogs. So, Amazon. Amazon right now, still not much movement in this baby. Um, well, I guess 105 to 112. Now let's put this. 
on a three-year. Okay, so this is interesting because this didn't make the lows. And 273. Yeah, this one's going to be close whether it, it's going into, no, it's going into 490 and 500. And it's only, it's a 218 right now. So Amazon should bounce too. That's how that's shaking out. Microsoft, let's go take a look at Microsoft out here. The couple of these NDX ones, no, oh, look at Microsoft, man, oh, man. <laughs> so Microsoft had a move from 219 to 236 today. That's sick, man. That's really sick. It's pretty sick to how it was down too, though. 294 to 219, straight line move down. Yeah. That's no doubt something else. Go take a look at Google. Google went from 95 to 100. That's nothing heavy. So let's go into the energy sector. We go look at ExxonMobil. We've been watching ExxonMobil. Yeah. So Exxon, you know, I'd be careful with Exxon, man. You know, because what you have there is this. So watch what you have. The swing that it's over had 23 million shares. We did 24 million. You're only doing 16 today. You really want to see, that should be pushing in there with a lot more than that. Let's put this on a weekly first. Yeah, I'd be careful of Exxon, man. This, this is gonna, and so, so watch what also happens. Now this gets, this gets intriguing in the aspect of what happens in a bounce too. The energies were the best, that was the, about the only place that you could hide. You couldn't hide all of them, but you could hide somewhat. When the rest of the market bounces, what tends to happen is that those equities are going to get less buy-in. And why are they going to get less buy-in? Because of the fact that they've already accelerated up. And what ends up happening is that you have the aspect that you can, you know, buy different equities that have got smoked and they'll come off the lows and the first, you know, 10 to 15 points are pretty quick. That's kind of how it works, you know, because first what you got to have to do, no doubt, is that, you know, whoever, who's ever been shot, well, they, would, they won't cover the first day. There's no way they're going to cover the first day because the, you know, the amount of bread that's been made on the way down is huge, man. You know, I mean, people always, well, they, people don't understand it if they don't go shot. That's the real bottom line, okay? You know, that being said, um, the, the bottom line is that most times, you know, there'll still be shot positions, and I've seen it that they don't, you know, close these out for four or five days, meaning that, you know, it's going to get over a swing before they do it. And they'll give back some bread. There's no doubt about that, but... Um, you know, that's that's about it. LNG. Let's go take a look at LNG out here. So LNG, this is um, Chenier Energy. Okay, this is uh, LNG related business companies. Old liquefied natural gas terminals, and they push liquefied natural gas out. It's trading up four and a half dollars right now. You have a swing high that wants to test. So this does want to test the you know the one seventy eight. You can see how it's coming up, though. I don't like how the stock is coming up, man. I, yeah, this, this stock should be coming up with a lot more volume than that, man. You're going into 6.6 .6 million, and you're only up with 2.8. So you can let it test it. More than likely, it will probably end up testing it. It will probably end up testing it tomorrow. It'll get, it'll, get, you know, it'll get up there. Let me pull this on. I see. Okay, hold on one second. Yeah, this, hold on one second. This could be an ABC app, though. Yeah, it is. So the lows, 120. One, no, 8, 8 points, 120. It's 52A to B. That gives you just about 200. Well, this is what you have. So you can see on the weekly basis, you took the B point out. What you did do is that you did have an expansion of volume, and what ends up happening is that when you get an ABC structure up, what happens is that you don't supposed to go lower with volume expanded, and we did. See that? It, we made a high with 22 million. 
Then you came down with 17. Yeah, so just, just keep an eye at the very top of it. Um, it looks to me, uh, some of those energy stocks, I know people have done really well with them, but the bottom line, they, they look like they're getting slower at the highs. It's going to be less volume. And I'll picture what ends up happening, right? If you've already made the bread there, well, what do you do? You take the bread out of there, you stop putting in these other equities that will get killed, and two or three points, you know, coming off the lows is not a big deal, man. You know, because they, they, it all gets bought. That's the bottom line. It all gets bought when it's, when it's happening like this. Let's go take a look at, uh, actually, Barrick Gold, because this was interesting. So what happened this morning with Barrick, folks, is this, is that Barrick wasn't supposed to come out with its numbers this morning. It was, it was uh, basically a mistake. And, you know, what Barrick did, Barrick got down to 13.99, rejected it. Uh, you're at 14.63 right now. It put this on a weekly. Look at this. This is almost the, the lows. Well, it's going to get back inside the range. The range is, uh, oh, no, it's not inside the range yet. The range in Barrick would be $15.27. And what would end up happening is that it's pretty funny what ended up happening. I guess they, they just decided to send the rest of it out after it happened. Because what happened first is that, see this down at the bottom? Um, uh, that the gold sales volume was reported in error. And then what ended up happening is that uh, you, they just decided that, okay, they, they got to come out with everything. Um, and it really it didn't move the stock, uh, but it was really in, intriguing watching it. Uh, there's no doubt. Uh, SLB. So is that Schlumberger? Let me see what this is. Yeah, you get Schlumberger. The low is 27. The high is 49. Let's see how this one's looking at Okay, so this is taking a B point out, 13 million versus 16. It doesn't have the juice for an ABC structure up, but it's, it's, it is launched. So it's, it is saying that, uh, let me put this back in a weekly for a second. Yeah, that's, that's I wouldn't be into that either. It's, it's coming into a vicious downdraft. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien! Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 800. NASDAQ is up 215. S&Ps are up 88. Let's go take a look at those gilts. So uh, as far as I know, tomorrow is the number for these uh, folks over in the UK. And the gilt market right now, that's trading 4.19. Um, it's a little off the highs, okay? Bottom line, we yesterday hit 4.63. So we'll see how this thing shakes out tomorrow. What is happening, and this is where, the, so watch, this is always so intriguing to me. Like, and this is where, you know, Dave White always says, sell when you can, not when you have to. Well, what's happening right now, I've been scouring these bonds over, in the, not just in the UK, just in general, okay? And so what's, what's going on is this, that, the pensions funds, they have illiquid assets, a lot of them, okay? Then they have a lot of um, B-rated bonds. Now, watch how this works, okay? So, pension funds in particular cannot own, well, most of them cannot own, a C-rated bond. So, when you get triple Bs, whatever, okay, it's still a B, the bottom line is that if that comes down to a C, then they, they're gonna be forced selling, okay? That's part of the equation here, but listen what they're doing, this is a trip. Their best credit, their best credit, they're selling. And the reason they're selling their best credit is that that's the only market that's liquid. So what has happened, you talk about rolling a market. So what has happened is that the best companies that the bonds of the best companies are also going down because there's so many pension funds that are selling the best bonds out there. You know, you can see when contagions start happening, you just, you know, you can kind of estimate kind of where it's going. Um, that one there was a little wild card, though, I can tell you, you know, and, and they probably just don't even, I don't, I don't know if they have... Uh, what kind of equities they have. I know their, their bond portfolios are full, and I know the top credit has been getting sold hand over fist. And that also, here, watch this, because th this, I don't think that whoever wrote this article really is not onto it yet. And what it is, investors lead 30 billion excess from high grade bonds here. Well, they're going to, that's, that's what's going on. Credit investors yank more than 30 billion out of investment grade funds in the past two months. Um, the bottom line is that they've re yanked 74 billion out of our own ETF structures here. Well, that correlation is direct. You know, the bottom line is, is that you get whatever you can get, and that, that's, what, that's what's putting pressure on that particular market. We go into the, uh, let's go into the silver market and see where we're at here. So SIZ. So we hit a low of 1841 today. You're at 18. 83. This is good, man. See what Silva's done. Listen to this. Look, look, just look at this for a second. You got, we have three higher lows now and two higher highs. Give me one more higher high. That's, that's an uptrend, man. Three and three. What, what normally happens, folks, with technical analysis, you like to have 
when you're doing trend lines or anything else, you like to get three. I mean, you know, we, we know that, you know, it's an art, not a science. There's no doubt about that. Uh, but the bottom line is that you get one more higher high, well, guess what? That's, that's an uptrend. And um, let's, you know, there's, there's a couple, if we take a look at First Majestic, there's a couple that looks to me like they're setting up a nice ABC up. See this First Majestic? You know, it has a nice high volume at uh, 890, you're at 820. Rejected lower price today, came into 12 million, doing 8 million. I think it's going to go after that B point. You go after that B point, what's really, what I like about this, this has been in a five month consolidation. You know, they come out with their numbers. Let's see. They come out with the numbers October 31st, and they're going to be looking to do 169 million to the bottom line and uh, 11 cents to. Uh, the 169 million top line, 11 cents to the bottom line. Let's go see what Hecla's doing. So Hecla, oh, this is the, oh, Hecla's in good shape, man. But this is okay. If you're looking for silver stock, I think we'll be buying this in the gold report tomorrow morning. I'm gonna do an update tomorrow morning. Yeah, this is look at this look at the stock, man. Okay, so check this out, folks. This is what we'd like to see. This is pushing with volume. Okay, so what do we have here? 458. Nice. It's a it's a, a buck ten. That gets you uh, 520, and you're at 447. The next swing is 480. Next swing after that is 517. That's where it wants to go. You can see you can see the volume today. 9.2 million going into 5.3. 9.7. Yeah, this is going, man. So that's a good indication when you get into a swing, how you move coming into a swing. And if you move into that swing and that volume is accelerating, your probabilities are much higher. That's going to blow that whole baby right away. Let's go over to uh, GFI because GFI is getting closer to this close, folks, of um, uh, Humana. And GFI today that also rejected lower price and has a high volume at 895. So it's going to run to 895 again, which will take Umana because it's a 0 0.60 of share value. That's how it goes. This rejected 443 today. It's 466. Yeah, and this is going to go after that swing point too. So it's we get we get some action here. That's that's the real bottom line. We get into the uh, let's go see what good old Tesla's doing. So Tesla, look at that. It's up four bucks, but this isn't saying quite a bit, man, compared to what the market's doing right now, you know. This is going to be interesting. So if we take a look, put this on, let's see, the bottom was 206. We hit 206. We're going to do... 296. Yeah, that's going to be a rejection too. That is going to be a rejection. So that 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 the, the swing point we're going into had 465, and right now you're 296. Well, yeah, we'll probably do another 100 million tomorrow. That's still going to be a rejection of lower price, and it does have lighter volume. Let's go to EXK, which is Endeavor. This is another silver equity that's highly volatile. Nice setup too. There's some nice setups here, man. That's the bottom line. Same same type of setup. Rejection of lower price. Has volume at the B point. Hey, we'll see if we can get an ABC market going in the gold market. And uh, you know what? You know what I suspect is going to happen, actually, folks. We're going to probably get an ABC market all you know on the way back up again. You know, and the the the, the cool thing is is that you, you got to remember you, you you get the first move. The first move is A to B. Second move. You come back with light volume. If that's what happens, then you, uh, you, you'll you'll have a you'll have a piling on effect, man. That's the bottom line because uh, there's plenty of folks that you know look at the aspect. Okay, how you pull back after you get an acceleration on the way up, and what's going to happen out here? Uh, you know, the, the the larger money is basically sitting there saying, okay, you know, can I sit here or do I get a pile in? And we know how this goes when everyone has to pile in. Dow, Dow up 843, Nasdaq up 230, S&P's up 95. Stay right there. Come right back.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is up 900. Nasdaq's up 261. S&P's up 103. And they're going to run it right into the close. So let's take a look at this. Uh, ES. Come on, baby. Batman. I just, oh, sorry about that. There we go. Okay, so yep, you're coming right into it. This wants to close at highs. You know, so if we if we take a look at the markets here, let's go to the ETF structures and take a look at them. Uh, the yeah, let me do the SMHs first. We got the SMHs out here. That wants to bounce too. Yeah, yeah. Let me put this on a, on a weekly. We'll see what it was testing. Uh, see, this is cool, man. So watch this. So the SMHs, yeah, the SMHs are telling us, folks, we're going to be back down here. That's that's where the SMHs are telling us. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna have a high low high a high volume low. You know, it basically blew away the swing point. The swing point's 189, and we're only 181. Yeah, we're gonna, you're gonna end up watching. You know, they're up they're up today, but guess what? No, that that see this is what's so cool here. What the all our job now is to do just like that. And thank you for having me look at those SMHs. Is that what you want to be doing? You want to be fi finding now stuff like that. Like that just tells me that okay, man, this is a bounce. Why? Because the SMHs run the market up, run the market down. And what we're gonna have with the SMHs, you're gonna have a high volume low, which is gonna come back at us. 
So I suspect that 3150 and the S&P is still there. But guess what? Be a bull for a couple of weeks because <laughs> it might take this thing. One, just be, listen, th this thing wants to bounce. That's the real bottom line. Get on it. Stay on it. Don't get any sleep. Pay attention to the market. This is when you can really, you know, make some bread. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it. Take ownership of it and fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great night. Safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 in the morning. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks.